Okay, what about document camera integration? You've got a document camera in your school district. Perhaps you know a colleague who has connected their document camera and are still using it with their transparencies. So what I'm going to show you is when I'm going to drag this curtain back up. It's a good way of hiding and showing information, actually. Um, I'm going to expand my Easy Teach toolbar and what you're seeing in front of you is a plant stamen. And that plant stamen is underneath my document camera that is attached to my computer. And the reason that I'm able to show it within Easy Teach is that a tool within our science toolbar allows me to connect to any document camera, any web camera, any digital camera or digital microscope, indeed anything with a Twain driver, which is the standard for image capturing, can automatically be appeared within EasyTeach, meaning that you guys don't have to get to know another software application and can really help to see a return on the investment of that extra technology that's in your classroom. Who wants to manage different software? You don't, you just want one thing that combines the multimedia and the devices that you have working. I've already explained that EasyTeach works with any type of interactive whiteboard, even an interactive whiteboard and slates in the classroom, or sometimes they're called graphics pads or graphics tablets. It will also help to bring in your document camera and your image capturing devices. So now this plant stamen that happens to be on squared paper is within my Easy Teach presentation. I can do so much more with it. I can draw students' attention to sections of that plant stamen using my annotation toolbar. But again, let's move it up a gear. Let's look at how the subject-specific toolbar can enable me to make this into an interactive exercise where the emphasis is on the students coming out to the board to complete a task that will really help to reinforce their understanding. So I'm going to select my measurement tool or caliper tool as it's called within the science toolbar. Just like with the geography distometer, this is a measurement tool that can be calibrated. So as long as something on the image I know a real time measurement for, I can calibrate it. And even though this is a projected image, I know that each square or the width of each square on my squared paper is equal to half an inch. So my units have already been selected, but I can go and change it. I can tap on my virtual keyboard and put in 0.5, click set. So now when my students can measure the different parts of the plant stamen or the pig heart or the dissection of the frog, whatever it might be, it will be a completely accurate measurement that I can copy and paste out onto my screen. So that's one way that I can make the most of the image that I've captured using my document camera. I've also got a web diagram tool within my science toolbar. This is like a cut down version of the mind mapping software that you guys may well be accustomed to. Or it's a whole class teaching version. And it means that I can drag and drop common web diagrams, but also customize my own. So not just being used in science to look at, say, vertebrae and invertebrae and organizing the information, but I can also use this to thought shower um, a story and the plot and the directions that we want to go in. So if we were looking at, say, vertebrae and invertebrae, I may well want to go into my multimedia bank, or if we're looking at the plant growth, Again, I can select small, medium, and large. I can populate an image within that cell on the web diagram. When I move that cell within the web diagram, it retains the links. As you'll notice that the web diagrams make use of the magnetic lines that I showed you guys earlier as a specific tool. The other tools within the science toolbar include um, rulers for accurate measurement, a units and symbols bank, a little bit like the math toolbar, um, but science specific units and symbols, as well as a whole host of specific science multimedia within the image and flash gallery.